Hi, I'm Angie Homley zabo and I'm here today partnering with NASCO Education to show you a few different colored pencil techniques. I'll be using their new colored pencils, which are a really low price point for teachers and students to work with, but still have the quality to do a lot of different really fun things. In this video, I'm gonna talk about layering. This is a huge component of colored pencil work. When you're younger, or just working in a, color, in a coloring book, People like to come in with their coloring, colored pencil, and if they see a pair, they use the side of their pencil, and they just fill it in. It's a green pair, I'm gonna color it green, right? When we work with colored pencils as artists, we're gonna come in and layer colors to build a more vibrant, interesting, realistic color in our pieces. So here I have a red apple. I've already gone in and done a ton of layering with three different values of red. I've got the NASCO 24 pack of colored pencil, um, which is a really nice variety. So I've got a lighter red, a medium red, and a darker red. So I've layered those in to start to build my value structure. That's the first step in layering. The next step is using colors to tone our color and to deepen our shadows. So to deepen our shadows, we're going to use dark, cool colors. So I've got a dark blue. If you have a dark purple, you can use that. I have this purple color here um, that I can use a little bit in the shadows um, or the mid-tones to cool it down. Um, and then you're going to use complementary colors to tone your drawing. So toning is taking the pure hue, so the pure color, and kind of turning it down a notch. So I'm going to use greens, because greens, reds complement, to tone down the color. And I'm just gonna start to layer these colors in on top of my reds, which will create a more full finished version of this apple. Um, this is something that always scares my students, but I don't want it to scare you. It feels uncomfortable to take this red apple and come in at it with blues and greens and purples, but the end result I'm telling you is going to be much, much more interesting. When I start to layer my colors, you're not gonna see much variation there happening on the screen. Um, but what you'll notice over time is this red is going to tone down a little bit and become a bit more natural. If you go in and do this and you're like, oh my gosh, it's way too green, the easy fix is to come back in on top of it with the red. I've already burnished my apple quite a bit, meaning that I pushed with my colored pencil quite a bit already. So it's not going to take a ton of color from my green, and that's OK. I'm still going to go in and practice and play with those colors. Because remember, we're just here to learn, try new things, play around. If you're not sure about something, try it out in your sketchbook first and see how it goes. That's where we gain comfort. That's where it's OK to make mistakes. And then when you get to your more finished pieces, you feel more confident. And you know that if you make a mistake, you figured out ways that you can fix it. Here you can see I've gotten the shadows quite a bit deeper and more rich. And now I can start to play with some of the mid-tones and the highlights on my apple. And I really encourage you to play with color and how color interacts as you layer different things together. Don't be afraid to try something, especially if it's in your sketchbook. Um, see where it takes you. You might create something that you love. You might create something that you hate. And if you do that, that's fine too. You know not to do it in a finished piece. So I'm gonna play with some yellows and some oranges in the lighter sections of my apple, and then maybe come in with some light green and tone that as well. And this is my apple that's been toned down a bit. A Little bit of detail added to the piece. You might also come in around the outside edge and play with line and line quality. Um, and again, you can use different colored pencils for those edge lines. Um, in my darker areas, I like to play around with a little bit of a darker color. In the lighter areas, I'll go in with lighter colors. This layering process, you're going to notice in any of the videos that I make from now on that have kind of a finished drawing, every finished drawing is built of lots and lots of layers. And on the bottom, you can see how the line quality adds another dimension to the piece. 